Hi everyone, Bob is in the house and today I'm with my friend Sam. Today and Sam, what are we doing today? So uh, we pretty much made top 10 lists for our favorite albums and songs from the first half of 2018. And uh, we're just gonna talk about it. Yep, and it's gonna be great. Yeah, I'm excited to uh, see what Sam prepared for me, like, uh, like what his top 10 is. Because like, uh, he has a pretty good taste in music. Uh, I hope that I have a pretty good taste in music. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just jump into it. So I'll start with mine. Uh, number 10 for me in my list is Shawn Mendes. Okay. Shawn Mendes. Okay. Um, yeah, because it's pretty good. Uh, I didn't do a reaction to it, unfortunately. But um, uh, when I listened to it, uh, it was pretty amazing. I uh, loved every track. Uh, like it was pretty surprising. Uh, like it blew my mind because I kind of underestimated that album. Um, yeah, I think Shawn Mendes just grew as an artist. Uh, he's even better now uh, than his singles, um, uh, Stitches and uh, Mercy and stuff like that. Uh, this album included like uh, Ed Sheeran uh, production. Yeah, writing. Writing. Uh, and he kind of sounded like a stream uh, and kind of that's why I like it more <laughs> and uh, also uh, I kind of heard in Shawn Mendes Justin Timberlake style which I also love I love Justin Timberlake and um, and for Shawn Mendes it's uh, himself too because his personality his lyrics uh, his performances were great okay that's interesting yeah. I feel like if an album is on my list, I'm not going to talk about it when you talk about it. Okay. So I'll like, talk, I'll, like discuss it later because I also have things to say. But if it's not on my list, then I'm like... Okay. But, um, okay, so my my number 10 is uh, Nasir. Oh, nice. By Nas. Nice. And nice. Um, I mean, I don't. I never really listened to Nas before this. The only reason I listened to this was because it's a Kanye produced album. Yeah. You gotta listen to what Kanye produces because it's fucking Kanye. <laughs> but, um... Yeah. I mean, it was, I wouldn't say surprising, I kind of expected the style, but, mm -hmm. and it's a little bit out of the way, like from what I've heard from Nasu before, it's not like what he usually does, but it's interesting, the production, mm -hmm. compared to how he, his flow, and how it fits together, and like the song like Adam and Eve has like a yeah. Persian, for <laughs> like a Persian sample, and I was like, holy shit, like I know that song, <laughs> like I know that Oh, you knew song. that song? Yeah. Oh, wow. So, but, um, yeah, so, and then just like, there's a, f a few songs kind of missed, but it's just, it has a good energy. It's yeah. Like, it's like, it's got the beat, it's got the Kanye, like the production, <laughs> like, ah, Kanye, like, so, yeah. I mean, it makes it, it makes it on my list. Barely, I mean, I haven't, honestly, haven't listened to it that much. Mm -hmm. got, like, I like Adam and Leah, but not Adam and, what the fuck did Adam, I say? Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. <laughs> and Adam the, the songs, what's that one song? Um, the one that goes, Bonjour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Check for it, it's called Bonjour. It's called Bonjour. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like that song too. So, and then it's just the album in general is pretty, mm -hmm. it's pretty impressive. Yeah, and uh, I wanted to say like, the Nas Nasir didn't make my list unfortunately, mm -hmm. but I, I was thinking, shit, I'm listening to it since it came out, but it's just like, because like, we can only put 10 albums, like, I just didn't find it, uh, its space, but I'm glad that you yeah. got it. Yeah. yeah. Alright, uh, album 9, what do I have? Uh, Oh, Janelle Monet Dirty Computer. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty dope release. I also didn't react to that album, <laughs> but I mean, I didn't know that um, it's gonna be that great uh, as well. Uh, I but I loved her singles. Uh, what was it? Uh, Make me feel. Yeah, uh, it's fucking song fantastic good. song, fantastic and like very sexy. If you wanna feel sexy, please listen to that song and watch the video. Uh, also, um, what was it? Other. Um, I, the song I like that, the song uh, Jang with Jane, like all the singles actually was great, but uh, I don't know, I, I couldn't find time unfortunately. But anyway, uh, the point is the album is great, uh, the production is fantastic, uh, like it really felt like the production is um, one of the greatest of, uh, of this year, to be honest. It's so grand, so uh, beautiful. Um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say. It's just like to me, it was like, wow, this this is fucking dope. And like when I was listening to this in this room in my heaven, I was like, like bouncing to it, like jumping, like dancing. It was uh, it was a shocker. Mm -hmm. it, I really loved it. Well, yeah. Well, that wasn't on my list. I kind of 
I don't regret it, but it would be almost there, like mm-hmm. almost on the list, because it's amazing. Like, when I first heard the singles, I was a little bit put off because mm-hmm. it was a little weird, like weird yeah. style. But after listening a while, it gets into you're like, oh damn, that's actually yeah. pretty nice. Like it, it goes, it goes well with the the musical <laughs> part of it, with yeah. like the style. Sometimes lyrically, I was a little when I because I listened to the album a couple times. Mm-hmm. Sometimes lyrically it's a little bit weird, like a little, the the placing of the words is a little strange, mm-hmm. and like the things that she says, it feels kind of awkward. Mm-hmm. But I feel like you can ignore that because it just yeah. sounds so good. Yeah. And like I mean, and I don't think it doesn't really say anything special, like lyrically. Yeah. But it's a pop out. It's like a dance, kind of like dance album, like a like a feel good. Like, yeah, yeah, like a yeah. It's pretty good. I enjoy it. Yeah. What about yours, number nine? For number nine. Uh, is the Black Panther soundtrack. Oh, wow, okay. Because, holy shit, when that thing came out, mm-hmm. it got me so hyped for the movie. <laughs> yeah. Because, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like, the songs on there, like, 10, mm-hmm. and the Weekend song, mm-hmm. and just, like, at this point, I'm tired of it, obviously. Yeah. It's been, what, since February? Um, yeah. But, damn, like, Kendrick just put out of... It's not even his album technically. He's on every track, of course. Yeah. His country. But he just brought out so many different artists that you wouldn't expect to work together, mm-hmm. and then put them in such a weird style that they're not used to, and it just sounded great. Yeah. Like I would, like the Sob. I I knew Sob because my roommate is from the north of NorCal, mm-hmm. so he knows Sob. But I'd never heard of it before uh-huh. until him. And then suddenly he comes in, and now the whole world knows who this guy is. <laughs> and everyone likes that. Like, Paramedic is an insanely good song. Mm-hmm. But, and then, I mean, I didn't, honestly, I didn't like the movie that much. I'm sorry. Yeah. But, <laughs> but well, again, well, and, and the music was wasn't in it as much. There was, like, what, two tracks? Yeah, tracks. Only, unfortunately. But the album itself was just great. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah I admit, um, I also wanted to include... Uh, this soundtrack, however, it didn't make mm. my list. It was like 11 or 12, you know, but um, Yeah, man, it's like this the singles. I feel like they are very strong as well uh, I mean all the songs are pretty strong, but like for me, um, I would say pray for me uh, King's dead and all stars. Mm. Those are the songs that easily can make my uh, top songs of the year Yeah, sure, because they are so good. Mm. I really love them. Okay. Okay. Yeah uh, My number eight is Migos <laughs> culture too. Oh, no. <laughs> we're gonna have a talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> we already discussed about because uh, Sam doesn't like mumble rap and uh, Migos particularly. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the reason why I included Migos culture too, because to be honest, not only in this project but um, also other projects by Migos uh, members, let's say uh, Offset and Twenty One Savage. Well, Twenty One Savage is not a member of. Uh, Migos, but they had a project uh, without warning, uh, warning, <laughs> warning. <laughs> uh, Offset and Twenty One Savage. It was entirely good uh, for me. I really enjoyed it. Uh, also, uh, Huncho Jack Jack Huncho, also a good project. But it was all in 2017. But I still was listening to it in 2018. But uh, Migos Culture Two is just one of the other projects of by Migos, uh, which. I really liked and like I really had fun with it I know that there's like 24 songs and I didn't like all of them for sure but like I, I made a cut of uh, 12 songs I liked out of it and when I was listening to it I was like um, listening in the car mostly it was a period of time where I really had to like um, you know it was like a bad time a difficult time for me because like music school was uh, ending and like a lot of assignments plus uh, the college was difficult and like the Migos tracks for me was really fun like, mm-hmm. to listen to they were just like kind of putting me off that pressure and I was just like like the songs for you know, uh, with which also features 21 Savage Bad Bitches Only uh, like I was like Bad Bitches Only <laughs> Bad Bitches Only it's like it's so I don't know it's like I just have fun with when I listen to those tracks I don't know what, how to explain it but yeah, just, I get what you're saying yeah I personally am not a fan of Migos at all, like zero percent. Yeah. <laughs> I think Quavo was okay when he was starting to like get big a little bit, mm-hmm. but Migos in general, the f- repetitive flow and the rep- like uh, the production is nice. The beats uh, you can say, I mean I can admit the production is good, but mm-hmm. like the repetitive flow and it's like it just bores me. Mm-hmm. Like, it, 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 
I can't I can't ever fuck with that. Yeah. <laughs> but I get how people like it. You can like it. I mean, I'm mm-hmm. not gonna stop you. Like, yeah. Well, majority of people are into that shit. Whatever. Like, do it. Do what you want to do. But yeah. I'm never. Gonna, I'm <laughs> never gonna enjoy it. Yeah. I'm just saying. You know. <laughs> okay. What's yours? Uh, my number eight. Ooh, this one I don't think you've even listened to. No. Uh, my number eight is Neo. Good man. Okay. Damn, dude. Like, because you, I love Neo. Neo's amazing. Mm-hmm. In general, but he hasn't had released anything big like an actual album in so long, mm-hmm. and then he just dropped this album. It's pretty long. I don't know how many songs it is, but it's decently long. I think it's like more than fourteen tracks, more than fifteen tracks. Mm-hmm. But um, it's just like this smooth R and B. Like mm-hmm. it just if you've heard Neo before, it's pretty much just Neo is back. Okay. Like Neo is back and he's as good as he used to be. Uh-huh. There's so many, ni- and the, some of the songs are just experimental kind of, but they work. Like they mm-hmm. flow, and the beats are just like insane, like smooth soul R and B, unbelievable. Like, yeah, no way. I unfortunately haven't heard of Neo, so maybe you haven't I'll... heard of Neo. No, yeah, I'll... you have. No, I You're haven't. Lying to you me. didn't even tell me about it. You don't know who Neo is? No. No way. You know who Neo <laughs> is. No, stop. <laughs> stop the video. Stop. <laughs> okay, well. No, we're you know who but Neo. But I will. I will give you the chance, of course, when uh, after. You know Neo. No way. You don't know who Neo is. It's um no. No way. <laughs> I can't. I'm not gonna agree. I'm not gonna believe. <laughs> oh Neo. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I just. You I just know. say it differently. Oh, oh, my bad. Good. My bad. My bad. I was like no. Way. I was like when you said Neo is. I thought of like Matrix Neo, like N E O. I thought okay. My bad. My bad. You like that album? The new one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I I didn't even give it a chance. Yeah, I, knew, okay. I knew you didn't hear it. Okay. Okay. But yeah, it's amazing. Shit. All right. Well, I will give it a chance then for sure. Yeah, because I used to like him a lot too because um he had a great song with Pitbull and other people. Mm-hmm, exactly. Yeah, I was like, of course, you know, you love yeah, Pitbull. Yeah, no yeah. way you don't know. Him. Yeah, <laughs> you love people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> seven. Camila Cabello. Camila. Okay. Uh, I chose it because um, she like when I was cre- creating this list I wanted to have enough pop and rap albums uh, I didn't want to have like a dominant a dominance um, and I feel like one of the uh, biggest not the biggest but like uh, for me at least um, nicest uh, best albums of pop like Camila Cabello is in it uh, Camila album because um, like her performances and like like she, her voice and like her um, passion behind the lyrics as well like the way she performs the production is all I really loved it like it was very really sweet um, just ten tracks pretty fast uh, you had their uh, sad songs you had their uh, fun tracks uh, like I was. Uh, growing to uh, She Loves Control or um, tracks Havana, of course, Havana was a big hit. I really love that track as well. Um, then you have like Real Friends, also a very smooth, really nice R&B track. R- not not R&B, yeah, but like... Yeah, acoustic. I could say nice. I, I just loved it. It was a nice blend. Um, pretty refreshing for pop, to be honest. Mm. Uh, I That album was an album that I looked at when I was making my list, but I Barely, I just left it off because it's like I can't fit. Obviously, can't fit more than ten. Mm-hmm. It's just like the ten songs when it came out. I was obsessed with it for a while, mm-hmm. for like at least a week. I was just constantly listening to it. Yeah, such a good album. Mm-hmm. Just the problem. The only problem is it's kind of like a poppy style album, so you will get tired of it. Like, mm-hmm. If you continue to listen to it like I did, you will get tired. Yeah, I think I added only a couple songs to my like greatest playlist. Yeah. yeah, like I have a playlist where I put the songs that I will know I will be listening to forever. Mm. So so I just I only added a couple songs and I was looking through it. I was like, I mean, it's not that bad yeah, already. It's not, yeah. But um, but I was like, it's not like that impactful that I would put it on my top mm-hmm. ten. Mm-hmm. But if there was like, if it was a little less of a busy first half, I would definitely put it in. There. Yeah. yeah. My number seven is Kanye West. Yay. Ooh, okay. That's my number seven. Of course, we've been waiting for Kanye for ever since he started like saying oh i'm gonna drop an album it's called like some weird number shit i don't mm-hmm. remember what he said oh, turbo graphics yeah like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah but we've been waiting for it i haven't enjoyed i mean i liked uh life of pablo a lot mm-hmm. but before i didn't i wasn't a fan of yeezy 
I wasn't Jesus. a yeah. cheap name. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wasn't a fan. So yeah, I, was, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't a fan of uh, Beautiful Dark Fantasy. Mm-hmm. But um, before, like, my fa- one of my favorite albums of all time is 808s. Mm-hmm. It's one of my favorite albums of all time. And then, like, Graduation and all that. Mm-hmm. But So I'm a huge Kanye fan. And I was hoping he would go back to kind of a style that he was before. Mm-hmm. And he delivered totally with this album. Mm-hmm. Like, going to, like, just straight, like, straight bars, just straight, like, talking about shit uh-huh. with the production, <laughs> with the sampling. Yeah, yeah. You're like, oh my god. And then he always has the random ass fucking features that you don't <laughs> talk about, but it's just in there, like, fucking tie dollar signs in every song. <laughs> and, and you don't know. And you're like, what, where did he come from? Like, it says only this feature, but apparently not. Mm-hmm. But, and then just the sound and just, like, the things he discusses. And I don't remember the names of the song, but in the one where he talks about his daughters. Mm-hmm. And like he talks about how his mindset has changed from this to this, yeah. and he just also he talks about like the controversy mm-hmm. in his life and like the fucking uh, slavery was a choice, blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah, and how he doesn't really discuss it to that degree, True. but he talks about how it react, how people around like close to him reacted. To yeah, it. and I I mean I just like it, and I like how I like how he mixes up the styles. He obviously has those weird lyrics like fucking. <laughs> None of us be here without. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But it's Kanye. Like he has to have that. It's it has but to. It's fun. It's, it's fun. Just, yeah, just, I have no problems with it. Like if it wasn't there, it wouldn't be Kanye. That is true. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> but, but just like in general, like the mix of the fun, fun aspect and just like the crazy songs, like holy shit, that's catchy, and yeah. then also the real lyrics. Yeah. It just it's the perfect one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Awesome. I'm really glad that you have Ye in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, album 6, The Weeknd, My Dear Melancholy. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> we can, we can, uh, like, I think, like, um, uh, we will be talking about it a lot, but it's because uh, The Weeknd is just so amazing uh, artist. I really love him. We both love him mm-hmm. a lot. I think first time when I got into him was uh, because of the freaking... Um, the live for the song was Drake. Uh-huh. I kind of found it on the internet randomly uh, of the Kissland album, but then um, didn't listen to his albums then. But um, what really hooked me up with the weekend was the soundtrack for the Fifty Shades of Grey. Uh, A lot of people had that. Yeah, yeah, the song "Earned It" was freaking fire, fantastic. I think for me it's like. Um, it could have been even like a top 10 of my most favorite uh, tracks ever like uh, it just was so uh, incredible mm-hmm. but um, then I got into the weekend all his albums really loved every album he produced and this is not an exception um, the my dear Lynn calling only six tracks uh, pretty uh, compact pretty nice uh, pretty sweet and he comes back to um, the trilogy era yeah. Uh, brings that dark vibe and uh, I really loved it like and it was a time when uh, I kind of had also like <laughs> problems uh, in the relationship kind of uh, stuff and uh, really it hurt me a lot I, sometimes I couldn't even listen to the album because it hurt it so much in <laughs> the lyrics because they were so relatable as well but at the end of the day that what makes the music great because you can relate to it and you can feel it uh, and you, you could feel the pain behind the weekend's voice when she was singing about Selena and uh, Bella Hadid. Uh, amazing release. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, obviously, that's gonna be on my list, <laughs> but uh, not yet. Uh, number six, to some controversy, probably Justin Timberlake, oh. Man in the Woods. Nice, nice. Because nice, nice, nice. I don't understand anyone who says that's album is bad. Mm-hmm. I don't understand. To me, that's my favorite. <laughs> Justin Timberlake album favorite favorite out wow. of every album that's wow. my favorite album because just like the sound and the beat like the because I love acoustic music mm-hmm. but then I love the beat like adding in a yeah. little bit of production yeah. and then just the mix of like it's got a little bit of I wouldn't call it country I don't know he says it's like a country yeah like, but there are only a couple it's, songs yeah it's country. barely like and mm-hmm. it's not that kind of, like it's not straight country like I can't because I don't listen to country yeah, I don't enjoy country we don't <laughs> but um just the combination of like a little bit of a little beat a little acoustic guitar and mm-hmm. then just like of course you got the the sultry justin timberlake mm-hmm. like like going like the crooning like like well you know what i'm saying like just like the straight 
soul Justin Timberlake yeah. coming out. Like every song just sounds good to listen mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. And then maybe he's not talking about like the most interesting things. He doesn't really have that much subject matter on it. He's mostly talking about like his kids, mm -hmm. son, and uh, his wife. And just like in general, like something. And then the filthy, I it's a weird song. I kind of grew to like it, but it's like it's just like a random song. Like it mm. kind of doesn't have anything to do with anything. Mm. But um, just in general, it's an enjoyable listen. Yeah. I listened to it for a long time. Yeah. And um, people didn't even know what the fuck it was when I was, <laughs> I was just playing. Like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, Justin, Tim Justin Timberlake. Like, what happened to him? I thought he just like died ten years ago. <laughs> 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 so yeah, I mean, and obviously people weren't fans of it, but I really, really, really like that. I'm really glad to hear that. I'm really glad to hear that. I I wanted to add him, I could, but it didn't make in my list, unfortunately. But I, of course, love this album as well because I am a fan of Justin Timberlake. But it's just like I don't know, only ten spot didn't make it, unfortunately. Um, what do we have next? Album five. Cali Witches. Okay. Isolation. Um, well, that album. Oh, gosh, where did I begin? Kelly, which is, um, I liked her songs uh, before this album as well. I was familiar with her, um, and also uh, not only solo stuff but also the features she dro uh, she dropped last year on Tyler the Creator album, uh, on Daniel Caesar mm -hmm. album. Yeah, so like she she gained the momentum, you know, and before the release of this album, and uh, a lot of people were interested in this album. Uh, uh, people started to recognize her. Oh, like, damn, who is this? And, then, <laughs> and uh, when and she delivered a great debut album. I really loved it. The word choice is pretty simple in there, but I, of course, don't have problems with it because I barely understand lyrics in English when I listen to the songs. So it was actually better for me. Um, and you have their like love songs. You have their um, pretty like. Um, soulful and sad, some sad tracks as well, I believe, um, but like the, her voice, like the, her soothing voice, it's just like the way she sings, it's so special, so unique. Um, R&B album, if you're into R&B, definitely give it a listen, I, I really love it. It's really um, soulful and beautiful, like it's really, like you appreciate kind of life more <laughs> after listening to this album because it's so beautiful, I, I really love it. Uh, I really like that album too, but it's on my list because I really didn't listen to it enough to mm -hmm. like, have a proper opinion, mm -hmm. but Kaliuchis of course is like... I love her stuff with uh, Tyler the Creator, Dan Caesar, mm -hmm. After the Storm. Mm -hmm. I love that album, it's a really good song. Mm -hmm. And that uh, one song, I forgot, it's like Flight 88. Yeah, 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 yeah. That song is really Flight 22. Good. Flight 22, yeah. yeah. But, That's um, a great song. Okay, yeah, Kyle Dion, I mean, I love Kyle Dion, I don't know if you've heard of him, I'll talk about him in a different video. <laughs> but, um,. He's on. He like he's in the background vocals and that, and he was talking about it. And I went and listened to it. And I was like, holy shit, this like this song is unbelievable. But um, I never really listened to the full album, like a legitimate listen. So I don't really have that much of an opinion on it. So I couldn't put it on the list. Mm -hmm. But I, I respect her as an artist. Yeah, great album. That's good. And what do you have oh. for yours? Uh, five. J. Cole, oh, K.O.D. Okay. I have a con I, I have like a weird experience with this album. The first time I heard it, I hated it. <laughs> I hated it. Like, I was so upset. I was waiting for this album. He renounced it. I was like, holy shit, J. Cole's dropping the yeah. this week. And I was like, I'm going to listen to this. It's going to be great. And I listened to it, and I was like, this is horrible. Because it had just like the bars, like the repetitive. Because I, I, cause I, like I said, mumble rap is not my thing. Yeah. And just the chorus, the repetitive, like repeat, 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 count repeat. Count yeah, count it up. <laughs> can it, can it, can it. Like yeah. I don't like that kind of style, but after and I just wrote it off. I was like, shit, this is shit. Like I listened to the whole thing. I was like, I don't really enjoy this. Mm -hmm. But um, after a while, for some reason, I went back because mm -hmm. I was like, come on, like it's J Cole. Like you <laughs> yeah. can't just drop this garbage. <laughs> so I listened to it again and again, and then slowly you realize that there's actually a lot of lyricism if you look past like the original sound or just like the repetitive sound mm -hmm. and you get past the choruses there's actually like the production and the flow and the things he's talking about mm -hmm. like um the uh, drugs and money and just like generally like this things that you get caught up in life that you shouldn't get, up, get caught up in mm -hmm. it's just like lyrics lyrically and production productionally and the production uh -huh. 
it just it's really good and it, it, it and that chorus part makes it catchy mm -hmm. even if you can't if you don't know the lyrics to like every single verse you can sing along to the chorus yeah it's not hard to learn and just like the ways the things he discusses mm -hmm. make it a good album in general. Mm -hmm. like and and it fits with the rhythmic kind of like repetitive like chorus 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 yeah. chorus which at first i didn't like but once you actually hear it it makes sense mm -hmm. yeah. yeah for me that album um i really enjoy like some songs and I really could see uh, like ATM or Kevin's Heart songs being in my uh, and Photograph um, being on my um, like top songs of this year. But like as a whole, like I still feel like I, I had a lot of um, was skips. Like I was skipping, especially towards the end of the uh, album. Uh, well, except the song where he addresses a little pump. Yeah, yeah, that was a great track too. Uh, I don't know. I, for me, like it didn't make my top ten, unfortunately. But um, I still love J Cole, and uh, I like this album too. Uh, but the problem is for me is just like yeah, some songs like I was skipping. Um, didn't really enjoy them. Uh, unlike the other projects for, with uh, what was it for your eyes only mm -hmm. and uh, Forest Hills Drive. But again, um, I think I think what this album has is some great songs which outshine i feel like the most of the for your eyes only album to, mm -hmm. to be honest but it's just like for your eyes only for me it was like more round rounded yeah. album to be honest i agree